Hello, everyone. My name is Andreas Christensen, founder of SuperOne. Today, we are going to give you a quick update on where we are and what's going to happen over the next few days and uh, how we are moving uh, towards uh, the opening of the new system. So let's get started. So yeah, a quick update. Uh, we're going to have a quick update about uh, 20, 25 minutes about what we are what we are doing these days and what you can expect over the next week from us. Uh, so what we're going to cover is uh, the issues of our roadmap, legal stuff, and marketing stuff. Uh, the crowd now consists of 21,171 members as of today. That's pretty good. And we are growing every day, even if it's slower now than during pre-launch, it's very good. And the roadmap, what we have done during May and June, is we have completed a lot of stuff. We had all the issues with the power leg, the mobile connect, 5,173 people registered there now. We have all the packages that we have fixed with, of course, some adjustments uh, always keep going on. We have the pay leg that's been fixed and adjusted going on. We have the credits. We have paid out uh, everything from April. Uh, we paid out uh, nearly $150,000. That's all done. The next payout will be when we open the app next week. So that's when the next payout is coming. And we have a new login that is being deployed as we speak. That's why the system is down. And this will be a new login where we are syncing all uh, the apps we have. Um, I will explain that a little bit later. And so basically we have, of course, faced a lot of issues uh, during this week. And uh, this has delayed us about, I will say, three to maybe four weeks in the total process. But we learned a lot from it and we cleaned up a lot of stuff. And uh, that's why we are now getting ready to open the new thing so what we are doing now with a deadline in june that means by the end of one week from today uh, we're gonna have the plan updated that's almost done uh, as you remember john presented an updated plan a couple of weeks ago uh, two or three weeks ago there's a few updates to that it's ongoing the native apps have been ready for quite a long long time period of time we are updating the privacy policy and a lot of legal stuff into that but so that's almost ready to to deploy we have one version in the test flight a new one will be coming tomorrow and uh, we have a mobile app we also chosen to uh, create a web app uh, so you can use any browser to log in and this is very important so that comes in addition to the native app so if we for whatever reason should face any problem, like we have seen Trust Wallet now over the past weeks have been facing with Apple, we will always be able to use the mobile app. We will do the same with a desktop app. So you have access both on a native app, which means the app you have an icon on uh, in your phone. You'll be able to use Safari or Google as a browser on your mobile or your desktop to 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 uh, to enter and this is where the whole new login feature comes where we have created a, a way where you can verify your ether addresses and how that will be working you will be able to verify your ether address uh, as we're not using the trust wallet anymore so we you are not able to use that to verify your address you have to verify it through a transaction so that's what we have created and that's what's being deployed as we speak so when this is finished it is uh, uh, hopefully live I know the the service is down now because the team is deploying it and we will we will release more information about how this is working uh, but it's very self-explanatory it's a process you can enter and you will be guided through it all the time so this it makes us totally uh, independent from any third party when it comes to the login and this will replace any uh, we are using the mobile number here as the main uh, unique identifier and this will uh, replace any social login uh, we have previously uh, talked about uh, migration will start during the weekend. We will we will start migrating. We already have test scripts and running into that, and we will open uh, the the main app 
uh, as we move forward. We kind of say it's 98, 99% ready. Uh, there are a lot of bits and pieces here, but this is working with deadline June, and we expect to open by Tuesday. That's the that's the goal, and that's what we what we aim to do. Of course, there could always uh, something can happen, but uh, we work to open in June, and that's what we have said uh, two three weeks ago. We will open this month, and that's what we're going to do. Whether all three amps will be available, uh, it is. Uh, uh, remains to be seen, but we, we work to do that. Uh, so there are improvement processes that could hang. So anyway, but we expect most of this to be ready and to be deployed. So the back back end is definitely ready. Now it's the apps that's kind of being touched, and then the migration. And what we touched before, we had a very complex migration last time because we we moved we moved into. Uh, the whole thing with the with the binary placement and all that that we will not have now it's a simple migration to a whole new database so that is uh, uh, working differently so that's where we are and uh, the status is we are uh, very close very close and uh, you will expect to, you can expect to hear more information from us more or less daily as we move forward and there's a lot of other stuff also uh, legal side we have been working a lot with the legal side uh, we have engaged legal teams in eu and us to make sure that what we do uh, is uh, based on the latest uh, legal development and the latest regulations and we are in particularly concerned about the uh, sec commission in us fca in in uk and bafin in germany and there is uh, it will be a change coming. Uh, we will need to change a little bit uh, how we do things with the tokens. Uh, that change will most likely revolve around uh, an, an activity requirement. Uh, an activity requirement. An activity requirement, and we will we will uh, we will inform you more about that. But in any case, this will not delay our opening. Uh, we will have the information ready before the opening, so you are able to understand what we're doing. And the current token will also be replaced with a ERC fourteen hundred token, but that is not uh, imperative to our opening. So, this is uh, the legal thing. Uh, we also today commission. Uh, uh, and what you call affiliate or network marketing lawyer in US to make sure we satisfy all the local regulation when it comes to consumer law protection and marketing and income statements and all that that takes place in US. And we will, of course, use the same uh, on a global scale. So uh, we take the, the legal situation very seriously. The same, we are updating our privacy policies and all that things with GDPR and everything that needs to get into place. So that's the legal thing. You will hear more about that as we move forward the next days. Uh, on the creative side, we, uh, we employed a new creative director. He's been working about 10 days now. We have a new brand book that we will release shortly, next few days. It's something really, really cool. And uh, it will follow with presentations, and it will uh, follow also with two daily webinars. Uh, we will have two daily corporate webinars that uh, uh, will will show you, uh, of course, the game, but also the compensation model and the whole thing as we move forward. So we will retain what we did or revert to what we did in in April, and we will keep this pushing all the time. And there will be a lot of new people doing these webinars, and it will be. Very good. So that's uh, I'm really excited about uh, about this part because we need to kind of explain very well what we are, what we do. So this is um, this is very good stuff that's coming. And um, on the marketing side, we have create uh, got a new marketing director uh, with experience from network marketing, lot of experience. I think eight 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 years or something. And uh, we have also experienced writers, both from the blockchain and from the network industry. 
So we have people, they, they are really good. They have good track records. They have been, one of them worked with BBC. Another one worked with, uh, at least delivered uh, to Financial Times, to Times and to Newsweek. We have great people that will create a lot of new fresh content uh, revolving around our brand, our way we move forward. And you can expect daily activities on our social media outlets and uh, email, etc. So. We are, we have over the past weeks taken a lot of efforts into becoming much more uh, open, much more professional and moving from, let's say, just developing the tech and, and to move into this. So a lot of things will happen. Uh, this has taken a longer time maybe because of all the other efforts and the knowledge transfer is of course uh, a big big issue here but i'm very positive because this will this will kind of will how should i say we are leveraging a lot of new uh, people a lot of new thinking and we, we kind of moving more and become a, a full full body company moving forward so that's uh, very 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 well so the next few days it's really exciting uh like you said we we plan to open the new model uh, by tuesday that's what we are working to do. A lot of work ahead of us, but also a lot behind us. We've done a lot, a lot of work. It's a tremendously uh, uh, complex platform we have. And uh, touch wood, we, we work hard the last days to, to make it happen. So the good thing, uh, I would like to thank you for all your support and all your patience. And uh, it has been a long journey. And it uh, probably uh, will be a long journey ahead of us. And uh, there is a lot of opportunities uh, going forward. And basically now we can take any questions. Uh, I don't know, Arthur, if you are here to help me with the questions, but- uh, Yeah, man. Yeah. So basically that's the quick overview. And we wanted to just give a quick overview for a lot of things coming uh, to the market uh, or not to the market, but to you the next few days. So, yeah. So one question here from Shelly is to do with the back payments for the months of May and, and June. When, when would these uh, happen under us? They will, be, uh, they will be executed once we have opened a new app. It needs to be some goodies when we open a new app. And the reason for this is that the team is now 100% times X uh, concentrated on, on opening the new app. So we, we don't want to spend time on, on running these payments now. Perfect. Okay. So the confirmation to combine two questions at the same time into one. Because uh, uh, again, people want to confirm. There's one question from Sri Lanka and one from India. Will the new app launch on a Tuesday and will it also run um, commissions live instantly, the whole settling every single part of the comp plan? Every part of the comp plan will be live at the same time. Uh, that's, that's already developed. Yes, it's live and it's, uh, it's all the elements of the comp plan, yes. Fantastic. So that's it. Um, to the real... do with the, the, one last question to do with the demo, whether there's going to be uh, an updated version of the demo or the demo that we have will stay until the release of the gaming platform in August? The demo that's in the App Store will be updated with a new release and that release will contain what we have presented before. So we are not, we are not changing the app, it will be named Super One and it will come out uh, to everyone that had the demo. It will simply be updated. Like Trust Wallet updated their app today, with removing the app, we are changing our app totally. Perfect. Uh, now, another question is to do with the migration. Uh, uh, can you please explain the migration again from the old to new? What's, what, the, what sort of a downline should people expect before they can start signing people up on a new app? I mean, the migration now is from one database to another database. Uh, what we did earlier was that we changed the way the one database is working. So we had a lot of re-engineering of an existing database, uh, the previous database or the current database. What we want to do now, we're going to import into the new database. Uh, we already been, been doing trial data on this. So what we're going to do now is a data export and import which is a simple thing. Uh, but of course we need to, to run through tests and verifications and all that. 
But what we did earlier was a much more complex thing. I would hardly, I won't even call the previous thing a migration. It was a migration, but we, we kind of went from one system to another system in the same, on the same server, sort of. So we changed everything we, we kind of messed around with the walls in an existing house now we are moving all the people into a new house and we place them into the different rooms we have created for them super so it's, a, it's just a simple data export and import and our question from helga from ukraine uh, what else uh, should we expect to see when the when the platform comes out next tuesday whether the, a new website will also be coming out I'm not going to promise too much of that, but we have a new website coming. Yes, and it's uh, it's looking good. And it's also, it is a little bit comprehensive thing because some of the resources we are now using on the desktop and the mobile web app, they are also the same resources we developers we're using on the website. So uh, I, can, I, can, I think I can say that the website will be a little bit later, the updated website. Because we, we we are doing some 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 new stuff also to that. Like I said in the presentation, we got a new creative director. We finally found one that's uh, that's uh, I think is very good, and it's not they are not growing on trees to be honest. And he, he's he's been working closely with me and other people in the team over the past week ten days to kind of uh, get get under the skin to understand what super one is and he's also added a lot a lot of energy to the whole process a lot of determination a lot of a lot of cool stuff the way we think and like we said earlier in a call with the leaders today it might be that we will get uh, feedback from the field that this is maybe working maybe not working uh, so we, we will have a dynamic process on that but in general i think it is it is looking very good Perfect. So what's the, another one, okay, so Shelly's asking, if she's, she wants to be sure that everything, so on a Tuesday, or by Tuesday, when the app is out, so should we expect to have the back pay on the same day within the 24 hours from launching the app? It will come after the app. I mean, there is a runner-up to the app, and there is a payout, and that's a separate process. We might even do it from the existing system to the Eater wallets. Uh, uh, once we, because we don't want to mess these systems together, we have algorithms on the current platform to run the payouts. It's just about time to do it and to verify it because it's, it's, it is a little a lot of work, you know. And uh, we have the algorithms, we have tips to do it, uh, but we still need to verify and check and do everything. And it's not so so big volume either for me. So, but we will do that, and it will come. We have done it before. We paid out 150k for some weeks ago, and now we do we do it again. Super. Um, now a question from Ali. It's to do with the with the number of founding members. We still have uh, teams building strongly right now, and they would like to know exactly where they are. 300 and very close to 400. Super. Um, one more question from Ali. What to expect when the gaming platform launches in terms of the number of games that uh, will be released in the first version? We will have a strong focus on the, the football. Um, but that's something we communicated all the time. We will have a strong focus on the football to gain fast traction among the football crowd. And if you've seen through the corona times now, uh, you've seen that the football crowd, a lot of the sports betting people, they have not been able to bet. So what happened on the stock exchanges around the world is that a lot of these people are uh, <laughs> compulsory gamblers. They have entered into stock trading, day trading. So I think that that shows a little bit of the potential we have. So once we once we get get the game really going within the football field, we will. We, and the reason why we go there is, like we said in hundreds of presentations, is that the the willingness to pay and the ability to pay and the dedication for the sport is so great. So we will have football definitely as an integrated part. That will be a very important part. I mean, we cannot put out cruises at the moment. It's not so cool. <laughs> That's true. So Perfect. hopefully the whole travel thing needs to be re reassessed. You know, it's not 
maybe money is more more what people really want in terms of so prices cash for sure hmm? in terms of prices cash for sure would be the top one yeah so that's what we do we need to maybe then change a little bit or configure the games not differently but you know we have a system where we can configure the games independently so we can say how much we take in how much we pay out all this can be adjusted all the time and it will be different profiles on on different games because this the, is not card if we see that if we see that a game is running too slow or something we can change parameters and we can say we don't need so many answers okay we can narrow it down because with regards that's to how what, we present it's it's we always say it's going to be like a netflix of mobile gaming so should we also expect uh, multiple categories with dozens of different games inside of each multiple categories a little bit like everything if you're i'm old enough to uh, to know netflix from the time they sent uh, cds or dvds by mail and uh, when netflix came to the market some years ago as a digital provider it was not that good it took a little bit of time before they were full full-fledged provider of all categories the same applies to us. You cannot just flip a button. We have a lot of content and we are making a lot of content. But I mean, if we gonna be very good at what we do, we need to concentrate a little bit. We cannot make 10 categories and be master of everything. So uh, by mastering the football thing will be from a financial point of view, really, really important for us. Yes, of course. It, it's, it's, it's good to be setting correct expectations now. Uh, Andreas, now in terms of the communication, because there has been a gap. Um, there's been 10 days actually uh, between the um, updates inside of the bot, Telegram bot. What to expect leading up to the release of the, of the platform in terms of the communication? I expect daily communication bulletins on different subjects. We have employed a new marketing director. We have at the moment two writers. Plus, we have a lot of other input coming. We are we are professionalizing the whole marketing thing, and that will that will that will keep pumping. Uh, we we need to build this team, and we need to we need to to leverage other people. Uh, there is uh, been way too much. Uh, focus on the tech on the platform on the presentations we need more people with, to get content we need first of all to put the strategy what are we putting out there and what is the science we're doing a design upgrade i won't say a major change but we're doing an upgrade what we had was good what is coming now is even better and uh, there is a lot of the way we communicate we are sharpening the edge a lot on the communication and we will, we will, we will, we will, we will give you material that is probably in world class standard. We will give you things to present this to uh, to your friends and your your teams, and we will have communication and wording that will that will be unique in this industry. We worked a lot on this, and I can tell you, it's it's some things may be juicy, and some things maybe we need to change but in general i'm very very uh, positive because i've been looking for these type of resources to have something that that is highly professional and that's what we have and um, he will work in conjunction of course with the marketing and what we what we want but the design here is 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 nice so if i'm, I'm gonna so read out the sign, not the sign is not only about graphics the design is also about the communication what we say what is super one how we gonna be per perceived and in 360 degrees from the media from the potential investors from other people from competitors they will not be able to replicate they will not be able to copy us without looking like idiots and the thing is like we've already been copied now we're going to be even better we're bringing in better people the same way we do on the legal side we bring in some of the best lawyers around in the industry and to help us out uh, to, to make sure that what we create is have a solid foundation i can tell you i didn't say in the other presentation i commissioned a, a lawyer in norway today just for norway because i am from norway and i know that when super one becomes on the headlines internationally it i will catch the norwegian press they will they will be curious so i commissioned a lawyer 
and I, I had a licensed operation with the Lottery and Gaming Authority in Norway before, very early. We had the first mobile lottery in the world, it was licensed by the Norwegian. And it was closed down because the, the new government with the religious party and the Christians, they closed down all, all kind of fun. <laughs> so anything, I know them, I know how they're thinking. So now we are approaching them from a legal point of view with Super One. Even Norway is a small market, but we are approaching them according to the clause 16 in the Norwegian lottery law. We are telling them exactly what we do and how we satisfy the law in Norway. The reason for this is to avoid uh, bad press and to be more the same we're doing in US we have commissioned one of the most prominent MLM lawyers in US and he's working he started working today before this presentation and he will work with us now and he will he will he will rapidly go through all the legal uh, checkpoints of what we're doing uh, from from a network marketing perspective in US which is a legal there, I mean, there is a, there is a landmine of, of legal loopholes in the U.S. At the same time, we work on the security law in the U.S. We will uh, deliver a registration for uh, Regulation B, Exception B, in the U.S. to be uh, registered. And in that sense, we will update our token model. We will have something called accredited investor, which is sophisticated investors called in Europe. And it is more high-grade investors. And we will have another category called active affiliates and that's remain with details uh, we have developed a model for that i believe it satisfies the regulation but that's my perception um, we are using legal expertise to vouch for that but to what i can say we are operating in a legal landscape that is not fully developed not even from the sec commission in us you can call them in the morning and ask about the question. You can call in the afternoon and get two different answers. So this is innovation. We are all, all in the forefront. So we have to trust our own judgment also. Uh, but anyway, we are protecting not only ourselves, not only the company, but the people that come in here. This will not affect the, the existing people in a sense, but uh, it will like, uh, affect what we do forward, how we do our marketing, what to say, income statements, all these kind of touchy, uh, touchy matters we have been through. I think that Faith have brought it to the table several times. Uh, you have brought it. A lot of people brought it. So we, we need to professionalize in all senses. It takes a little bit of time to do this, but it's good. And I'm very excited about it. Now we're a little bit tired because we work a lot to get this going. But we will step on the gas uh, very quickly, and then we will be on headlines all over the world. And we need to have our, we need to protect the company and our members. Absolutely. Just two last questions, Andreas. Uh, it's been a long day, of course. So now I'm going to read it out exactly from Martin as, as he wrote it. What will trigger the game launch? Quantity of users or amount of capital raised? Amount of capital raised. Uh, we have already stated this that we're going to. We're gonna uh, when we saw the the scale at half a dollar, we're gonna we're gonna open the game. That implies that we turned around twenty five million dollar gross sales. Maybe we don't need that much, but that would leave the company with about six million dollar, and half of that is the marketing. That's three million dollar. We don't need so much to open. We don't need that much. But the thing is, into gaming, the name of the game is marketing. And the name of the game is to, to, to get a lot of free stuff in there. And the way we sell game credits these days that all you guys are buying, we sell them highly discounted. So we need uh, some of the funds that we bring in now. The bulk of the fund will go to marketing of the game. That's the whole purpose of this. We are bankrolling the stock. That's what we're doing. We're bankrolling the stock of the game. And the more money we put, the more the more gasoline we put on the fire, the bigger the fire. The more secure we uh, we will be, that the fire will be sufficient. And that's why we do it this way. And uh, that's why we also we take down the risk. Okay, what are the risks? If we uh, come out with a game about stamps, it's not sexy. That's why we do uh, football because we know it's a lot of money and engagement there. We're going to use the countries like, like, like we have said in presentations. Germany, UK, they are safe bets when it comes to football. 
uh, also U.S. is a safe bet when it comes to, in example, uh, uh, NFL and these kind of stuff. Those three markets are, I won't say easy, but they are very commercial. So we're going to go there and we're going to have enough resources. They are These are sophisticated markets where the marketing per, per player, the marketing cost is higher than, in example, in, in Asia. But, but it's a more safe bet for us. So we're going to go there. We're going to have sufficient resources. And uh, we kind of, we cover this in the game presentation. We're going to do that. And then, we, but, and then we're going to boost this together. But before that, we will, of course, open, open part games and stuff and test games and keep things, uh, come with the app and show things and do maybe small bursts and things like that. We have the tech for that. The games have been operational. Now we're going to do new stuff to the game. It's coming new creative people into the game. Yes, we're going to update the design. Yes, we're going to work with some great app developers. I'm going to do a lot of animation, a lot of the cool stuff. That is taking place over the next couple of months. And from that point forward, we, we, we start launching. It's not like you just switch on. So, so uh, with regards to, your, to the marketing activity, because that's um, something that has been pointed out several times on presentations. So will you, will you still be signing people up under affiliates, even from your marketing campaigns? If the company will do it? Yes. Uh, we haven't really touched based on that, uh, how we're going to do that. Uh, there, are, there are ways, uh, I know we discussed this with, uh, with uh, John the other day about how, how to do this. We will, we will basically, we will not compete with our affiliates, but at the same time, there needs to be uh, I mean, if you're using companies like Shark Boost, they are bringing in, they have a billion people under their, uh, in their database. And there's a lot of marketing taking place. So I, I'm, I think more we will look for marketing tools people can participate in. Yes, exactly. That's what I meant. Um, the network and marketing tools with people um, submitting their gaming credits to give over referral links and then they receive signups for that. Our, our purpose is not to compete with our marketing uh, teams. I mean, the whole concept, if we're going to be loyal to the concept of, of having a million people or, or more and marketing this around the world, we cannot kind of compete with them. We, our role is more to facilitate them and to help them. But at the same time, we need to, we need to use company resources to, to move it. So... Super. Now a combined question. Last question from Rafael and Melva. Uh, so we've got, a down, we, we've got a downtime right now where the app is down. So when would the app come back? And also how will the, the new process look like for, for, the new member, for, for the people to be logging into their accounts? That will be very natural. Uh, one second. We are live already. So that's... Uh, we, were live. we were live one minute ago. <laughs> As we're speaking. So... You will see in the new app, it's very simple. You need to register your mobile and uh, you, you, you get the code, the whole thing we have been through in Mobile Connect. You register your mobile, okay? And if you haven't registered your mobile, you need to do that. Then you get your mobile verified. Once you enter, you can insert an Ether address. If the Ether address is not on the platform already, uh, you will just register it. It will be registered. If the Ether address is on the platform, you will need to send a small transaction. I think we said 0.001 Ether, which is like $20, to an Ether address. Once we receive that Ether, we will verify your address. That means that you control the private keys or the, at least you control sending money from that address. So in that sense, you verify your Ether address. You will not be able to hijack any other Ether addresses. And by that sense, uh, anyone that comes into the platform, let's say in a year, that they forgot about Super One and they read about it, that this is booming all over, they want to go back to their position. They can in the, come in here and send that point little eater, and they will pick up the address from the mobile. So there is a lot of, how do I say, not tech, but procedures and the sign behind this. There's a lot of use cases three, four different use cases. They, they're all covered. So we also have like 5,173 people that's already connected on their mobile. So they will. They don't need to do this if they already connected their reader address with Trust Wallet. But for, as of now, Trust Wallet is, is not working. So uh, 
then we need to send a small amount. That's the only way we can verify. I know there are some trust wallet uh, uh, connectors. So there's a lot of different stuff out there, but we want to be independent. We've seen what happened now, and we don't like it. That's why we also created the mobile web app, the progressive web app. It was not planned. So, uh, we hope to only use uh, native. But uh, anyway, we, we're doing it. So are users able to simply go on a website, type in super.one, and then go on, click on the login and log in that way? Right now? Yeah, with, with a password. Mobile, uh, your mobile number and a password, yes. Perfect. Last question for Ali. Have you made, uh, from Ali, have you made a decision on the $10 packs? When exactly you'll be, you'll be releasing them? Actually, it's already developed in the in the in what we're coming with. So it's more like a. Oh, we know. I like just a, want to know when you're when you're launching them. It's a, it's just a business decision whether we're going to put it out on, or or not. I mean, I I think we need to review a little bit. There has been, um, uh, so so I would prefer to commit it out for the very first opening, but then we can then we can open it. There has been a lot of changes, you know, to the. Uh, the, not a lot, but some material changes that the hundred dollar pack is included in the five hundred. There's a lot of good stuff there, so let's let's get that moving first, and uh, let's get the whole platform proofed on on the packages that we we have, um, and then we move. You will see a lot of patches when we when we open. We, there there are many things that will come for the next weeks and months. First, we need to get the core going, which is very strong very strong then you will see patches coming you will see updates you will see things we do you will see uh, a lot of things and probably john will also have a lot of a lot of issues not issues but a lot of developments we will see how it's working and we will see wow this is cool let's let's do it even better we're getting reports um andreas that the app is, is that down again um, if you could just uh, drop a message to the developers last question from lace it's to do with the ripple so um, the network, the new app will already have Ripple fully functioning. There will be no Ethereum. Well, the new app is based on Ripple. It will contain, I should just say, they're restarting the process now. Uh, it will contain Ethereum addresses because we need to passport what's, what's there today. So you will have the same Ethereum address brought into the new app like you have today, the internal thing. You can also, yeah. That's what we, we use Ethereum only to hold tokens. You talked about the conversion before that uh, people can use either um, to purchase packages. How exactly would that work? Would it be, would they yeah, be sending? Yeah, we, yeah. Have, we have an exchange uh, solution built into this. Uh, and I'm a little bit reluctant to put it out because it's a kind of delaying factor. Uh, we have it, we have scripted it. You can exchange to that, but uh, Ripple is the new thing. Okay, and let's leave it as that. To- you get, it every, you get it everywhere, and it's uh, you're talking seconds, not tens of minutes, and you're not, yeah. So what we, I mean, if you can drive a Ferrari, why don't you drive a Ford, right? Not leave, but we are not leaving Ethereum. There's a lot of cool products that comes into Ethereum synthetic uh, uh, trading. There's a lot of stuff. So, but Ethereum as the settlement currency, we will move. Uh, there's a huge uh, Ripple community that's really excited. Uh, we'll be hugely excited about what we do. And uh, I believe speed and like I always say, the transaction cost of Ripple for 1,000 transactions is like a dollar. And the same amount for 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 Ethereum is, a, is at least 100 times higher. So uh, yeah, it is pretty, pretty simple. Super. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good to go. We need to work, need to do this. I'm sorry for all these uh, sort of issues and delay. We need to get there. Uh, we we have some great time uh, going forward now. There is there, there is there is a cool time, and uh, basically we will uh, make it again, or like some president is saying, make America again, uh, make <laughs> super one good again. So we we we're doing that and. Um, we, yeah, we're touching. Uh, we, you, you will expect more communication coming from us. It will start already tomorrow. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Arthur. Bye bye. Bye, everybody.